Hello, this is Logan Murphy, and for this video, we'll be formatting this uh, web page so that the HTML is nicer, the PHP is nicer, and the um, just the look is nicer. Um, so this code is kind of confusing; you're echoing all over the place. So instead of doing that, let's just turn PHP off for a second so that we can just do plain HTML. So everything is going to be in an anchor tag. First thing in the anchor tag is going to be title. Let's see if that works so far. Okay, so let's continue. href of this is uh, film b PHP question ID equals turn PHP on for a second. This will be a category ID. The title of this tag will be description see what we're looking at so far so you see how they have the uh, tooltips that's what the title attribute does and I know we're I'm pretty sure we're selecting one more thing the rating so inside the anchor tag put a div and the div will turn on PHP for a second and we'll echo rating. Okay. This is a lot nicer looking. Um, I don't know why I did it the way I did it before, but you really shouldn't echo that many times in a row. Instead, I'm just echoing what I need to echo, the PHP variables. That's it. Alright, so. We changed a good amount. Let's come back here. So, each, an each of these anchors are a movie. So, we'll give it a class of movie. Close the footer. Um, each movie let's see what this looks like so far okay um, position will be relative I also wanted to do um, placeholder image Let's see if the typing the word movie helps alright let's I'm gonna use this image so I just type placeholder movie I'm gonna save um, image as Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to put it directly in there, but um, placeholder.jpg. Close that. Um, let's see if I could do this. Nope. Alright, so go to Explorer. Go to C, go to INET Pub, go to www, go to Sequila, go to images, and put the placeholder there. Keep in mind the extension and the, the file name. And for each movie, just set the source to images slash placeholder dot whatever your extension is, the width, well, we'll get to that.
we'll do that with CSS. Let's take a look. Okay. This is fine for now. Um, at least the image is loading. That's all I wanted to do, really. So dot movie, any image tag, and a tag with the class of movie. The width will be 100%. And still don't like that. Let's make this 100. And margin 10 pixels. margin 5 pixels okay. so we have the name of the movie here I don't want it to be that big um, so font size 12 pixels Okay, so I don't like that some of them are two lines and some of them are one line. So in order to fix that, we need to put a div around this text. Just give this a class of um, I don't know. Don't even, yeah, give it a class and the title, the, cl the class will be, I guess, I don't want to do title, but it's the only thing I can think of, let's call it movie title. If I did title, it would have done, we already have a class called title, and it would have been ridiculous. So, anything with the class of movie title? We'll have a height of, I don't know, 40 pixels. Just see what that looks like. Um, do view page source. Oh, let's see, let's see. Okay, so I never saved this. Okay. So I just made the the area that the title is bigger or higher, taller. Um, and you should be able to um, there's a way to make this uh, align to the bottom but It never works for me, so I never memorize it. Let's see if it works today. See, so, um, not really sure why it doesn't work, but it just just doesn't. see if this works. I mean, if someone can get it to work, just leave a comment, but I really, I really don't know how to get this one in particular to work. Um, so anyway, that's working. Now, these are placeholders for the films, which looks pretty nice. I also wanted to move this rating and to make it look like it's an actual real rating. And since I'm kind of on a trend of calling this movie whatever, I'm going to call this movie rating. So, dot movie 
creating. First, yeah, this is already relative. So we're going to make movie rating position absolute. And the bottom 5 pixels, left 5 pixels, background black, color white. We'll see how that looks. Uh, movie rating. Not really what I was going for. Let's have a padding five pixels. I actually want it to be right five pixels. So that'll move it to the right. Um, bottom now has to be 10 pixels, I guess. So I added that padding. Um, let's do rounded borders. Border radius. 5 pixels. I don't know what's going on with 5 pixels, but that's generally what I tend to pick. Um, let's look at, a, let's look at a, a film reading, I don't know. Just so we can kind of duplicate it. That's fine. They all have their ratings on there now. They have a placeholder image. Now, the only hope is, right now, is that none of these titles are three lines long. Because if they're three lines long, that's a problem. This guy is still going into the other line, so we're going to have to take that into consideration and only get the first four, and it'll be. 140 each. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, didn't save this. Well, obviously it's wrong because that's still on the wrong line. Um, I don't know, let's just do 120. Thirty. Should just know it, like just be able to do the math. But sometimes it's just about trial and error. Okay, so we have name. There's a tool tip that tells you the description. There's the rating. You can click on it, and it'll take you to. Well, right now that's not correct, so let's fix that. Category. This should be film ID. So good thing we test that. Go back. Refresh. I see it says 19 down there. So I know it'll work now. And if you want, you can also add rounded borders to the image. But then again, the uh, the filmmaker might not like that if you rounded their borders. But uh, pretty much all of our other borders are rounded, so keep up this trend of rounding borders. Um, hmm. I might actually know. Okay, so let's bottom align this because I just thought of a way to do it. It's kind of ugly though. I would consider it a hack. Let's put a div inside of this div. 
So movie title will be position uh, relative and the div inside of movie title will be positioned absolute and the bottom will be zero oops So, pretty much changing the position to relative, it doesn't change anything really about the tag itself. The tag does not move anywhere. But anything inside that tag that's placed absolutely is placed absolutely relative to the tag that it's inside of. So, since this div is inside of this tag and this tag is placed relatively, this will be placed rel absolutely with relationship to this tag. So. Um, to be more specific, this div tag is is at placed absolutely relative to this tag. So, it's placed at the bottom of this tag. Sometimes I'm not good at explaining stuff, but that's why that's considered a hack, is because you're not really supposed to necessarily understand it. <laughs> it just works. Uh, Okay, so this page looks a lot nicer. I'm Logan Murphy. I'll see you next time.